Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to discuss the process lockable shared memory object. In one of previous video, we made an example that two processes can share the information or data using shared memory. Here is a preview video's example. We have two processes, open shared memory, create shared memory. So two processes share the same memory, which we allocated 1024 byte. So both processes can read write from that shared memory. For example, from this process, we write So we write the message, the data. This is a test message from create one. And from this open process, we read. And this is we got the message. This is a test message from create one. And if we choose write from open process, So we write the data. Is this is the text message from open one, and we come here to write read. So after we come here to read, we got that this is the text message from open one. These two process share the same message. Each process can read write from these shared memories. So problem in this program, which is if two process to write or update a message to the shared memory at the same time, it will create our date or message crashed. So in order to resolve this problem, we have introduced today's topic, process lockable shared memory object. Here on the Linux, we create two program. One is called create shared memory object dot cpp, another one is open shared memory object dot cpp, and both program share the same header file called shared memory object dot hpp. So to allocate a memory, for example, we try to allocate a memory for one zero twenty four. We can use in the malloc. Or we can use the char item and for 1024. And this is the way we allocate memory. But in order to make this allocated memory to the object, we can use the struct. We call the shared message. So we can instantialize this struct to become the object. But to make this object lockable, we have to add one member. It's called the interprocess mutex, and we call the mutex. This member is to protect access to the queue. So in this way, after we instantialize this struct, this is the lockable shared memory object. Here on the create shared memory object .cpp, the header file we have to use a shared memory object, a class shared memory object which is a class that wrap a shared memory mapping that can be used to create a map region from map files. And then we have another header file called a map region where we map this shared memory object. And another we need to lock, we have to use a sculpt lock.hpp. So in order to use the mechanism to lockable shared memory object, First, we have to remove shared memory object on constructor destructor. So this is the constructor removal and destructor remove. And we have to create a shared memory object. So this is using shared memory object. We name it SHM. And we say create only. We call it my shared memory. And the permission is read write. This is a classical way to create a shared memory object. And after we create a shared memory object, we have to decide the size. We use the SHM truncate, and we call the size UF, which is our shared memory message, which is the struct we define in our header files. And after that, we map the whole shared memory to this process. So we use the map the region with the region. This is shared memory object. So this is the permission is the read write. After that, we use the region gate address, get the pointer, point our shared region, 
and after that we need to create our date pointer which is a new shared memory message defined in our header file and assigned to address which is map region address so now our shared memory object is in our shared memory region which mapped into our memory regions so after that we can use lock create a lock object which is our another member we added new text for the lock if lock is on it means our process on the shared memory object so we can just write the initial create a message to our shared memory we use the memory copy to our shared memory which is the date location item which is the memory we are located and we just give this message initial create a message and then we unlock this is not really necessary, we just write it for the initial message to our shared memory. In order to demonstrate the mechanism of synchronization or how this log read write works, we create a loop. Each loop we give option is log read write and unlock for our shared memory object. After we select the log, we check if our process own this object. If not, we start a log. Otherwise, we don't need log because we already own our object. If we read selected, we just uh, print out our date is item, which is the memory we are located for share between two processes. And if we write option selected, we check if our log owns this return true. It means our process owns the object. So we can get in the message from the terminal. We use the gate line and we write the message into the buffer from the terminal. And then we memory set our shared memory and then we do the memory copy our buffer, which is a local memory to our shared memories. If process don't own this object, we just print out the other process locked shared memory object. And if the unlock has been selected, we just uh, unlock our object. We using this user interactive way just to demonstrate how this mechanism work. So lock for read, write, and unlock. So for our open shared memory object.cpp, the header file is a shared memory object.hpp, mapped region.hpp, and scope lock.hpp using open shared memory object first we need to open shared memory object then use a shared memory object and we name shm and action is open only name is my shared memory and the permission is read write and then we instantialize the map the region called the region with this shareable object and permission is read write and then we use the region gate address to our pointer, which is the pointer our memory region for shared between two processes. And then we create a date pointer, which is a shared memory message, the object we defined in our header file. Because this memory region, this data has already created, so we just use the cast, static cast. The type is the shared memory message and in our address we got from the, our region get address and the pointer is the shared memory message type and then we start the lock object is that like the lock which is using the date mutex member from our shared object after that we make the same loop as the interactive each loop have lock read write and unlock so if lock selected, we check if our process owns the object and we just lock this. If we read selected, we just read from the shared memory object. And if we write option selected, we check if our process owns this shared memory object. If we are on, we can just use a gate line, STCIN gate line to our buffer from the terminal. And then we memory set shared memory and the memory copy from buffer to our shared memories. If our process don't own this shared memory object, we just print out the message other process locked shared memory object. If we choose unlock and this unlock will be executed. So after that, we 
finish our program. So let's save our program. We recompile our program. And then let's go back to our two terminal to test our program. We're using two terminal. So we have to say one is create a share memory object. This is our executable. So we start, we have a lock, read, write, unlock, exit options. And we start here, it's open. So this is open shared memory object process. This is the create shared memory object process. So both process share the same information. So if we use read, and we do the read, you can see this is the initial create message this is the initial create a message from our shared memory object. So if we choose the right here, we need to lock. So if we choose lock here, now we lock the object to our own process. So now this is the right. And we write a message to our memory. So we write this message. This is the test message from create one to our memory. So we did a lock, we did a write, and we write a message to our shared memory object. Now we come to this process, we read. So this is this is the test message from create one. So we able to read from other process. But if we want to write again from this process, we try to write because we locked here. So this process owned object. So here says the message. Other process locked shared memory object. So we are not able to write. If we try to make it lock, because this lock hand there, they are waiting for other process to unlock. So we do unlock here. We got it out from lock. So now this process owned the shared memory object. So we can write so we write a new message to the memory this is a test message from open one so we read here this is a test message from open one so we can read but if we try to write another message we cannot because this process lock the object if we want to make this process able to write, this process have to unlock before, and this process have to do the lock and write. So we write another message to our shared memory object. This is a test message from create two. So here is read again. So this is test message from create two. So in this case, each process want to write data into the shared memory. It has to be lock, declare process on the object. Then they can write after finish the write, unlock. So other process able to write. In this way, two process share the same shared memory, but each process at each moment can only written by one process. Hello, this is Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopefully this is useful, enjoyable. It's going to be great to have your feedback.